Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Chapter 1 The Bodhi Tree 1.1 The Bodhi Tree Thus have I heard. At one time the Lord was staying at Uruvela, beside the river Neranjara, at the foot of the Bodhi Tree, having just realized full enlightenment. At that time the Lord sat cross-legged for seven days experiencing the bliss of liberation. Then, at the end of those seven days, the Lord emerged from that concentration and gave well-reasoned attention during the first watch of the night to dependent arising in forward order thus. This being, that is, from the arising of this, that arises, that is, with ignorance as condition, volitional activities come to be. With volitional activities as condition, consciousness comes to be. With consciousness as condition, name and form comes to be. With name and form as condition, the sixfold base comes to be. With the sixfold base as condition, contact comes to be. With contact as condition, feeling comes to be. With feeling as condition, craving comes to be. With craving as condition, grasping comes to be. With grasping as condition, being comes to be. With being as condition, birth comes to be. With birth as condition, aging and death, sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief and despair come to be. This is the origin of this whole mass of suffering. Then, on realizing its significance, the Lord uttered on that occasion this inspired utterance. When things become manifest to the ardent meditating Brahmin, all his doubts then vanish, since he understands each thing along with its cause. <laughs> 